Hi there, my name is Alex Wetzel and today I'm going to show you how to use uh, Capture One Pro 10 to get from something like this to something that looks more like this one. So I'm going to show you my usual workflow when working with raw file images and yeah, let's do it. So this picture was shot with a Phase 1 IQ 100 and this is straight out of camera with no corrections whatsoever. So as you can see it's like the base white balance set in the camera and no corrections at all. So what I usually like to start with is find a white balance that suits the picture and sets the mood for the whole shot. So I usually go through the, the presets and see what I like. So since I know that this was shot with a mix of daylight and flash, I will mainly stick with these two. And I think I like this one a little better. Next thing up is setting the exposure or correcting the exposure. Since this picture looks already pretty good, I would just add some contrast, reduce the exposure slightly, increase the saturation since the model looks quite pale and also bring back some of the highlights, especially in the in the face skin area, but we will also work on that a little later. So yeah, the exposure actually looks pretty perfect. So what's next is like further fine tuning the white balance. So I would like to have the picture a little bit more warmer feel to it. I would increase the color temperature and also shift the tint the color from the image more to red than to yellow to to aid her skin tones to make her look a little bit heavier. To further fine tune what I had in mind for this image, I'll go to the color balance tool. I mostly use it in a free way position so I can um, easily adjust my midtones, my highlights and my shadows. This is also my main tool for color grading. So what I would do, I will add some warmer tones to the midtones. That's mostly that will mostly affect the skin tones. So we'll drag it up quite a bit to make it look a little bit more healthy. And the next thing is that I will give the shadows also like a, a color tone to overall aid the image and to give it a, a warmer feel. So what I would do is like add a little bit of magenta bluish tone. What I really like to do is to play around with these sliders that will affect the brightness of well your midtones. Your highlights, oh, better not do that. Maybe bring that down a little bit and especially your shadows. So I want to lift the shadows a little bit to give it a little bit more detail, especially in her top and also in the background. So I could feel that the image can a little bit more red in the color tint, like a slightly more, more cooler tone in the darker areas. The next thing I really like to do is go in and check the sharpness. <laughs> I already know that this is on point, so let's see when it rendered. Yeah, it's sharpness is on point, so what I like to do is to increase the amount to make it appear a little bit more sharper, but to drag down the radius to not overdo it. If I'm working on a picture that is for a client I know and I've worked with before, I would add some grain to it, especially if it's such a high resolution picture, just to give it a more natural feel in the end. And I like the Capture One Silver Rich Film Crane emulation. And I really like the organic feel to it. So I would drag the slider up slightly and increase the granularity a little bit. That already looks pretty nice. 
right now I just feel that the face is a little bit too bright so what I would do is go over to the local adjustments tab add another layer let's name this face select the brush increase the size a little bit and put down the hardness I really like it to keep it fairly global at the moment and not go too much into detail so what I do is like I drag down the exposure slightly and also recover some of the highlights I'd like to increase the contrast to retain the the shadow areas and the highlights and not make the the face too flat what I like to do now is to bring back a little bit more of the makeup and to intensify that reddish glow the makeup artist has put on her eyes so I will add another layer named that makeup and use the brush tool again very small brush and a little bit harsher edge and just draw over the eye shadow eye areas so this selection is very rough and to only affect what I want to affect I go down here to color editor and pick that reddish color already present in the eyeshadow and I will give that a little bit more of a magenta magenta glow and add a little bit of saturation definitely without overdoing that so let's check what we did yeah, we can even decrease that slightly one of the last things I would do is to definitely straighten the image because it seems to me that the angle is slightly off yes that's much better so now it's really just finishing touches so I could feel that I should open up the shadows a little bit so I really hope you like what we've come up with and I'm looking forward to see what you guys do with it